What's up, kings and queens? It's your boy Dan from Daft Previews, and you're probably wondering why I got such a smile on my face. It's because we hit 10,000 subscribers. We did it. I want to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel on the way. Now, we only had 1,000 subscribers 10 months ago, so it's safe to say that this channel has exploded. There are thousands of channels doing the same shit that I'm doing, and I'm grateful that I've been able to break through. To celebrate, I'm going to send somebody $100. So one of you lucky viewers is going to win. It will be on PayPal, so you need to have an active PayPal account so I can send you some money. All you need to do is write a comment below explaining why you subscribe to the channel. And I'll also give you some extra points if you can share your favorite Daft Previews moment. Now, I'm going to make a video reading out these comments and choosing the winner. I'll be uploading this as a private video to my subscribers only, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to win this $100. Now, you clicked on this video for some NFL bets, and man, I've got a lot of them. The amount of research that I did for this video was bloody exhausting, but to make it easier for you guys to absorb, I'm going to break this video up into different props. I'll take you through my bets for touchdowns, then receiving yards, then rushing yards, and then our quarterback props. All the props we're going to take you through today meet the following criteria. Their recent form is decent, or the volume and the opportunity is there. The matchup has got to be great. The game script has to be there as well. Now, if that sounds interesting, let's go. All right, so we're jumping straight into Outlier. If you did not know, it's my favorite tool to do all of my research. If you're interested in checking out Outlier, seven-day free trial in the video description below. Now, we're kicking it off with the touchdowns first. And the first three picks I'm going to give you in terms of touchdowns, I'm going to parlay all three of them together given how short the odds are. So you can put these together for about plus 265. Now, the first one we're looking at here is Derrick Henry to get a touchdown. Pretty common play, and he's probably going to be an important part to a lot of people's parlays. But Derrick Henry has had six touchdowns in four games. He's got a great matchup here against the Bengals. They've allowed a rushing touchdown to a running back in three out of four games this season. Now, Derrick Henry, he sees 66% of the rush attempts in the red zone. He's also got a 50% touchdown rate per attempt in the red zone, which means he only needs to have two attempts in order to score a touchdown. Given the game script here, he's probably going to see three to four at least. So give me that. Derrick Henry to score a touchdown. Next one we're looking at is Kyron Williams from LA. Now, Kyron Williams, he's also had six touchdowns in four games. He's an absolute machine. Now, Cup and Puka still on the sideline, so the Rams are going to be leaning on him in the red zone. Now, he's had 94% of the rush attempts in the red zone this season, averaging five per game. He's also seeing 25% of the team's targets in the red zone. The Packers, bottom 10 in touchdowns allowed. So they'll be looking for my man, Kyron, whether it's on the ground or it's in the air. My man's going to get another touchdown today. Next up, we're looking at Jordan Mason. He's had three touchdowns in four games. He's got an excellent matchup here against the Cardinals, who have the second most rushing touchdowns this season. The game total for this one is high as fuck. The book's predicting a lot of touchdowns. Now, he's averaging 5.7 red zone rush attempts per game. So the volume is going to be there. The books are expecting points. This guy's been scoring them. Easy money, right? So put all three of those together. I've got plus 265. Do some line shopping. You might get better. Now, the next three picks I'm running as straight bets. Better value here, but less likely to hit. First one we're looking at is Ramondre Stevenson. And I've said this before. If I was any darker and my son was, he'd be named Ramondre as well. But I love the name and I love the play. So we're taking him to score a touchdown today. I got plus 205 for this one. So it's a pretty, it's got some pretty great odds. Uh, he scored a touchdown in two out of four games this season. The Patriots blown off the park against the Jets and the Niners. So they barely saw the red zone in both of those games. Now he's up against the Dolphins today. They're both equally as shit. So it's a pick em, right? But at the same time, Ramon J should see more opportunities in the red zone. The matchup here is fantastic. The Dolphins, they allow the most touchdowns to running backs by far. They're conceding two running back touchdowns per game. The Dolphins, they've allowed a running back touchdown in every single game this season. So I love the matchup here. It is a pick -em. The total isn't too high, but it's high enough for some, for some touchdowns to be scored. So I like Ramondre here, plus 195 or plus 205 for me. The next one we're looking at is Justin Fields. We're looking at this man to score a touchdown, plus 145. I love plus money. Now, he scored three touchdowns in the last two weeks. The Cowboys, they also allow the seventh most touchdowns and the sixth most touchdowns to quarterbacks. They've conceded a quarterback touchdown in three out of four games. The Steelers, they've thrown the ball 14 times in the red zone compared to 23 attempts at running the ball. Now, the Steelers are favored to win this game, 
Their team total is set at 2.5 touchdowns, and it's favored to the over. So the books are expecting at least three touchdowns here for the Steelers. Now, how to look, the Steelers have only scored six touchdowns all season. Justin Fields, he scored 50% of those. So give me Fields to score at least one at plus money. Let's go. The next one we're pounding out is Chuba Hubbard. And he's had two touchdowns in four games, right? 50%, nothing special. But he scored both of his touchdowns since Andy Dalton got the start. So he didn't even see a red zone attempt in the first two games. In his last two games, check this shit out. Five red zone targets and attempts each game in his last two weeks. The Bears, they don't allow many passing touchdowns in the red zone, so it might be difficult for Deontay Johnson to get one. But Hubbard, he's got a great matchup. The Bears, bottom five in rushing touchdowns allowed to running backs this season, giving up a touchdown to running backs in three out of four games. So let's go Chuba plus money, baby. Take him to score a touchdown. Let's go. I've got seven more props to take you through. But before we do, I want to announce that I've taken on two new partners, Better and Parlay Play. I always say, the best thing you could do as a sports better is to sign up to as many books and apps as you possibly can. Take advantage of all the promotions, boosted odds, free squares, and deposit matches. Now, you still need to be responsible with your money, though. Don't go firing up tons of slips just because you can. Look for positive EV plays. These are easy to spot on these apps. For example, Parlay Play have an Aaron Rodgers free square this Sunday, and Better has a wild promotion where they've discounted every quarterback's passing line by 20%. So to sweeten the deal, I'll give you guys 30 days of my VIP picks for free if you sign up with any of my partners. Send me an email or reach out on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord, and I'll get you right in. The NBA season's not too far away. I've been killing it on MLB as well, and it's the WNBA Finals, baby. Don't miss out. All right, seven more picks, and now we're looking at receiving yards. So we're looking for players who are underdogs with good matchups and i've got three of them for you and the first one is alan lazard i like his over 34.5 receiving yards now he's hit this in three out of four games this season averaging 51 receiving yards per game he's got an excellent matchup here against the vikings who allow the most receiving yards to wide receivers second in target share behind garrett wilson but garrett wilson and aaron Rodgers they struggle to get on the same page at times so i'm going with a more experienced wide receiver that Rodgers can count on Take Alan Lazard, over 34.5 receiving yards. Next up, we get one Dale Robinson, over 47.5 receiving yards. Now, the reason why I love this play is Malik Neighbors is out, out with a concussion. One Dale, he's covered this in his last two games with Neighbors in the lineup. He's had 22 targets and 18 receptions in the last two weeks. Crazy. Now, the opportunity to see massive volume as a wide receiver one, fantastic. Now, the Seahawks, if you looked at outlier, you'd be like, oh, why would you pick this? The Seahawks allow the fifth fewest receiving yards to wide receivers this season. Well, I think the Seahawks' defensive stats against the pass, I think they're over-exaggerated. They've played the Broncos, the Patriots, the Dolphins without Tua in the first three weeks. They then ran into to Goff and the Lions in week four, and they got smoked by the wide receivers. So I still think this is a good matchup here for Wendell Robinson. He's going to get more opportunity without neighbors in the lineup. And Daniel Jones absolutely loves him at the moment. So Wondell Robinson, over 47.5 receiving yards. Then we're jumping into this man, Michael Pittman Jr., MPJ. I'm looking at over 62.5 receiving yards. Now, Richardson, he's been placed as doubtful, which means Joe Flacco might get another start here. And Joe Flacco is a fucking gunslinger. Now, last week with Flacco calling the shots, MPJ had nine targets six receptions, 113 receiving yards. Now, Indiana, they haven't won a game in Jacksonville since 2015. There's a reason why they're underdogs here, and their game script, it's going to work in our favor. The matchup is excellent. The Jags allow the third most yards through the air to wide receivers, so we're expecting the Jags to have a lead, believe it or not, but for the Colts to be chasing some points, they're going to let that shit fly, and the matchup is just fantastic for it. Michael Pittman Jr., over 62.5 receiving yards. So now we're into some rushing yards, and we're looking for workhorses here with great matchups where their team's expected to win the game, and I've got another three more of these. First one we're talking about here is Jordan Mason, over 86.5 rushing yards. Now, he's covered this in three out of four games this season, averaging 111 rushing yards per game. The matchup here is excellent. The cards, they allow the third most rushing yards to running backs this season. The Niners, Six and a half point favorites here, so the game script should be in our favor. 
So pretty simple play. My man's been killing it. The matchup is great. They should win, so they should run the ball even more. So Jordan Mason over 86.5 rushing yards. Don't overthink it. Next pick is Kenneth Walker over 69.5 rushing yards. He's covered this in both of his games this season, averaging 91 rushing yards per game. Seahawks, seven and a half point favorites in this game. So the script is perfect. The Giants, they played some average running backs over the last two weeks. But when they saw some real dogs in weeks one and two, they got torn apart. In week one, Aaron Jones ran for 94 yards. And in week two, Brian Robinson Jr. ran for 133 yards. So give me Kenneth Walker here. Great game script. A lot of work rate, over 69.5 rushing yards. Next up, we got Aaron Jones, over 66.5 rushing yards. Now, my man's an absolute beast, eight of his last 10 games. But looking at this season, he's covered this in three out of four. He's averaging 80 rushing yards per game. And he's up against a Jets run defense that sucks ass this season, sitting in the bottom 10. The Vikings, two and a half point favorites in this game. So we should see a neutral game script at the least. Aaron Jones should still see a lot of volume. So give me Aaron Jones, over 67.5 rushing yards. If you wanted to pivot, you could look at rushing plus receiving, but I'm keeping it simple here. I know this Jets team on the ground sucks ass, and I need Aaron Jones to take advantage of it. We're jumping into the quarterbacks. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've only got one. And being straight up, at this point in all of my research, I got tired. So <laughs> once I found Aaron Rodgers, I was like, I'm done. I'm fatigued. I've got too many bets down, but that's a lot of bets, right? But we're looking at Aaron Rodgers over 32 and a half pass attempts in this game. Uh, I did look at his over in passing yards. I was close to betting it, but I like the attempts a little bit more. So Vikings, they are favored in this game. So Rogers should continue to let this shit fly. The Vikings dead last in pass attempts against. The Jets offense doesn't look great, but he's covered this in two straight games now, and the matchup is fantastic. Another important thing about Aaron Rodgers to note, he's 96 passing yards away from achieving 60,000 career passing yards. Now, Rodgers, he also has the NFL's fastest time to throw. Minnesota, perfectly fine with this. They blitz at the NFL's second highest rate 40% of the time, and they force quarterbacks to make quick throws. So I'm not worried about the blitzes here. Might even force Aaron Rodgers to throw it even more. So give me Aaron Rodgers over 32.5 pass attempts. You can get this for close to plus money, so be sure to shop around. So I can probably bet you that nobody's giving you out this many free plays in a video. That's why you should be subscribed to the channel. So the two things I need you to walk away with, a lot of great bets here. Do your own research before you place the bets. Don't jump in that comment section blaming me, all right? <laughs> but no, seriously, two things. Check out Parlay Play and Better. You'll get a month of my VIP picks for free if you do sign up. And the other thing is be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know about your daft previews moment and why you've subscribed to be part of that $100 giveaway. Till I catch you guys in the next one, best of luck to us. Peace.